all right guys follow up from the last video i want to show you guys so i made these equipment slots so i could equip a hat and i could equip a shirt and the sword and i can't put it anywhere else so a few changes that i did since the last tutorial i made a game data script global script and i'm loading a json file with all the proper information for each um, item and i could show you guys that over here so here I just created this list of items. So the ID is the actual name in lowercase with no spaces. And then I have the actual item name that's the proper uppercase with space. So here I have a wooden sword as a wooden sword. And I gave it a type. So the wooden sword is a weapon. And a box is a default. Everything else is default for now. And the blue shirt is a chest piece. And those is for feet. Stuff like that. And then I have a max stack here where you can only have one of each item stacked together with this one, the shoes. Equipment mostly, you can only have one step. And then everything else, I put it at like 16, all the regular stuff. So, let's take a look at this here. Right here, I have basically loading the game, loading the data. So I check if the file exists at the path and then I load it up. And it should just work because it's an internal file and the game's running. And then I use JSON to parse it as a dictionary. And now it should be a part of the items there. And if anything, I just return file field to load. I just print that at me. Then next, you have the get item. This just gets the item data this is this here just grab a copy of the item data and i use this to send it to the inventory if the amount i want for example and then i have a icon path here and item name to get the proper name and then right here i need to get the item type this just checks the item type that's in the file here so it's a string type so i need to convert that to a <clears throat> to an integer so if it's a headpiece i get a headpiece i get the number one and so on so on and for two and on the equipment slots it's all the same layout so the head is one then two three four like a array array and default you put underscore here for default and return zero and has item just checks if the item is in the inventory. So the equipment slot now. Let's go back to 2D. I just made a copy of this slot here. One of the regular slots. And then changed the script to an equipment slot. And then I have a type. The type are uh, enum. Then I export that type to select one. That's all you've seen before. Then the regular setup from the last video for both of them. But in the inventory now, we have a new equipment um, dictionary. So we're just checking that slot type. So in the inventory, we have this new equipment now. Equipment uh, inventory. And it goes from 1 to the amount of item slots. So we have 7. Then, if it's empty, we return. We do the regular setup. If it's not, we get the icon. Then we add a child, set the drag preview, modulate it, and then get the equipment data. And then pass the slot type as the from slot. Then, in the can drop data now, we check if, <clears throat> if the item type matches the current type of this, the equipment slot. And then you you can do it in that case if it is equal else we return false and then whenever we drop the data now we equip the item <clears throat> and in that slot we just check the equipment slot 
and then if it's empty we add the item and then we clear the inventory from the from slot and then otherwise we want to swap out the item so equipped item we grab that item from the that's currently there and then we switch it out to the new item that we're placing and then put back the original item in your inventory mm. next now in the regular slot I did a small change here in the drop data we check if the from slot is a type of integer that means it's an equipment and we want to unequip that item from the from slot for the unequipped item if we provided a slot that it should go in we could check if it's empty then pass the item into it so we duplicate it and then we clear it from that equipment slot and then we return else if the slot isn't empty we just return you could uh, probably swap an item here but I'm not gonna implement that like if it's a to swap to a different type of hat for example could do that here then else if we didn't provide a to slot we could just put it in the first empty slot this is if you use a context menu like unequipped or something like that they find the first slot and then put it in and then move it to the inventory of this name and then the drug they we set the slot to be whatever the original item was so it's gonna be negative now or empty I should say else you want to move the item which is just the regular move from before from the last tutorial so we're just moving the item around the regular in, in that case and then we just do the same set slot here but remember it's the inventory is the difference here that's why i have it two places this is to set the equipment slot and then this is set in the regular slot and then set in the original slot this current slot now we're setting it as well uh, that should be it for that. I think there's not much else that I did. Um, in the sample inventory, all I did here was get 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 um get an item. So I just pre-filled these first four slots with the items so I could use them to show you guys. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna update this um repository on GitHub so you guys could check it out. And remember, guys, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching again. See you in another one.